Have you ever wondered how those juicy, sun-kissed peaches find their way from sprawling orchards to your local grocery store? Welcome to Green AgroWorks, where we take you behind the scenes of the food you love. Today, we're diving into the vibrant world of American peach farming, a journey that blends tradition, innovation, and a whole lot of sunshine. Every summer, the U.S. produces over 620,000 tons of peaches, with California leading the charge at more than 80% of the national output. But these peaches don't just grow on their own. Behind each sweet bite is a year-round cycle of planting, pruning, pollinating, hand-picking, and precision processing. From the very first bloom in early spring to high-speed canning lines packing thousands of peaches an hour, the process is both meticulous and fascinating. Along the way, we'll meet the hard-working farmers, seasonal crews, buzzing honeybees, and cutting-edge machines that bring these fruits to life. If you've ever taken a bite of a fresh Georgia peach or cracked open a can of sweet peach halves, you've tasted the result of this remarkable journey. So buckle up and stay with us as we explore how America grows harvests and preserves billions of peaches every single year. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to follow our future farm stories. Let's get started. The peach journey truly begins with the soil. In late winter or early spring, when the ground begins to thaw and the sun lingers a bit longer, American farmers roll up their sleeves and prepare the land. Peach trees thrive in sandy, well-drained soil with full sun exposure, so the ground must be tilled, tested for nutrients and enriched with organic matter before planting begins. Young peach trees are usually planted as bare root saplings. Right after planting, farmers prune the top of each sapling to redirect energy into the roots and trunk, setting the stage for a healthy, productive tree. It's all about building a solid foundation from the start. On average, about 142 trees are planted per acre, spaced roughly 18 to 20 feet apart, to ensure each tree receives ample sunlight and airflow. Proper spacing isn't just about yield. It helps prevent fungal diseases and encourages strong root development. Watering is critical, especially in the first few years. Each tree typically needs 1 to 1.5 inches of water per day during the growing season. As the trees grow, they're fertilized with nitrogen-rich formulas to support foliage and branch growth. But too much nitrogen can reduce fruit quality, so farmers carefully balance nutrients with the tree's development cycle. Pest and disease control is also vital. In early spring, pesticides are applied to prevent infestations by pests, like peach tree borers and aphids. Timing and dosage matter. The goal is to protect the trees without harming the environment. By year three or four, if all goes well, the trees are ready to bear their first full harvest. But before that can happen, something magical must occur. The blooming of peach blossoms, the beautiful prelude to fruit. After weeks of planting and careful care, the peach trees begin their most magical phase, blooming into thousands of delicate flowers. But how do these blossoms eventually become the sweet, juicy peaches we all crave? If you're curious about that transformation, keep watching as we dive into the fascinating next stage. And hey, have you ever walked through an orchard in full bloom? Let us know in the comments below if you're enjoying this behind the scenes look at peach farming. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Green. Agro works and turn on the bell so you never miss another journey from farm to table. As winter fades and spring arrives, peach orchards across the United States burst into breathtaking bloom. Around late February to early March, millions of delicate pink blossoms blanket the branches signaling the start of fruit development. It's one of nature's most beautiful displays and one of the most important phases for farmers. But this isn't just about beauty. Flowering is critical to the quality and quantity of the harvest. That's why farmers take great care during this period. First comes thinning, where up to 40% of blossoms are intentionally removed. Why to reduce fruit overcrowding and help the remaining peaches grow larger, sweeter, and more flavorful? Next, it's time for pollination, and here's where nature and science work hand in hand. 
Farmers bring in thousands of honeybee hives, often renting them for $150, $200 per hive to ensure the blossoms are pollinated efficiently. These buzzing workers transfer pollen from flower to flower, kickstarting fruit development. Without pollinators, there would be no peaches. Over the next several weeks, fertilized flowers develop into tiny green peaches. As they mature, the fruit gradually changes color, shifting from pale green to golden yellow, and eventually to deep blush tones, the classic look of a ripe peach. Throughout this time, farmers continue monitoring water nutrients and pests. The trees are given steady irrigation to support fruit growth and fertilizer is applied strategically to ensure flavor and size are just right. Too much water or nutrients can cause the fruit to grow too fast and lose its sweetness. Timing is everything. After about 100 days, the peaches reach full maturity. The orchard transforms once more now dotted with round juicy fruit ready for picking. After months of care and patience, harvest season arrives the moment farmers have been working toward all year. In most parts of the U.S., especially in California and Georgia, peaches are typically ready for harvest between late May and August, depending on the variety and climate. Peach harvesting is a delicate operation. Unlike apples or oranges, peaches bruise easily so they can't be shaken from trees or picked roughly. That's why hand harvesting remains the gold standard for premium quality peaches. Skilled farm workers gently twist each ripe peach from its stem, inspecting it for color firmness and ripeness before placing it into padded crates. This careful method helps maintain the fruit's flawless appearance and juicy texture. Each year, over 5,000 seasonal workers across the U.S. participate in this process, especially in states like California, Georgia, and South Carolina. In California's Central Valley alone, Farms can produce up to 12,000 pounds of peaches per acre, and every fruit counts. But as orchard sizes increase, mechanized harvesting is becoming more common for peaches destined for canning or juice production. Specialized harvesting machines gently shake the tree trunks or branches causing ripe peaches to fall onto padded catching frames or conveyor belts. While this method isn't ideal for the fresh market due to higher risk of bruising, it's efficient for large-scale processing operations. After harvesting, speed is crucial. Peaches begin to lose moisture and flavor quickly once off the tree. That's why many farms ensure that freshly picked peaches are transported to packing facilities within 24 hours, sometimes even within a few hours. This rapid transition helps lock in freshness and preserve that sun-ripened sweetness. Before we head into the factory, Take a moment to like this video if you're enjoying the journey so far and subscribe to Green AgroWorks for more fascinating behind the scenes looks at how your favorite fruits get from orchard to table. Do you prefer to eat peaches fresh in pies or as juice comment below and let us know. Once peaches are harvested, the clock is ticking to preserve their freshness, texture and flavor. Within just a few hours, these sun ripened fruits are carefully transported to nearby processing and packing facilities, the next critical stage of their journey from farm to table. Upon arrival, peaches are unloaded onto gentle conveyor belts where the cleaning process begins. They pass through cool water sprays and soft brushes that remove any dust debris or remaining field residue. Some facilities use food grade sanitizers to ensure hygiene without affecting flavor or safety. Next, the peaches go through automated grading systems. High-tech cameras and sensors assess each fruit size, color firmness, and skin condition. Only those that meet strict quality standards, usually in terms of color uniformity and firmness, are selected for fresh market sale. Any fruit with blemishes or minor defects is rerouted for canning, juicing, or drying minimizing waste. Before packing, there's also a manual inspection step where trained workers double-check for any imperfections the machines may have missed. 
This blend of automation and human oversight ensures that each peach is handled with care and precision. Then comes packaging. Peaches are gently placed into eco-friendly trays, baskets, or clamshell containers, depending on the retailer's needs. They're labeled with key information such as origin variety, weight expiration date, and a scannable barcode for supply chain tracking. Packed peaches are stored in cold rooms set at about 32 to lock in freshness and extend shelf life. From there, they're loaded onto refrigerated trucks and sent to supermarkets, farmers markets, or export ports, often reaching store shelves within 48 hours of harvest. The speed and precision of this entire process highlight just how much technology and teamwork go into something as simple as a sweet summer peach on your plate. Not all peaches are sold fresh. In fact, a significant portion of the harvest is sent to processing plants where they're transformed into canned peaches, refreshing juices, and other peach-based products that last year round. This process begins immediately after sorting to ensure peak ripeness and flavor are captured. The first step involves washing the peaches again with high-pressure water sprays, ensuring they're spotless before peeling, where the peaches are briefly exposed to hot steam or a food-safe solution that loosens the skin. The fruits are then quickly rinsed and brushed, leaving the soft flesh intact. Next, peaches are halved or sliced with automated pit removers, efficiently separating the pits from the flesh. At this point, workers perform a final quality check to ensure that each piece is uniform and free of bruising or imperfections. The prepared peach pieces are then placed into sterilized cans or jars. A light syrup fruit juice or even plain water is added depending on the product type. These containers go through a vacuum sealing process which locks in freshness and prevents contamination. After sealing, the products are pasteurized. This step involves heating the jars or cans to kill any remaining bacteria while maintaining the fruit's flavor color and nutritional value. Once pasteurized, the products are cooled and labeled. For peach juice, the process is slightly different. The peaches are pulped and pressed to extract their natural juice. The juice is then filtered blended with natural sweeteners or citric acid if needed and packaged into cartons, bottles, or cans. Every year, U.S. processing facilities handle millions of pounds of peaches ensuring that this beloved fruit can be enjoyed well beyond its summer season. Whether you enjoy them fresh from a California orchard, canned in syrup on a winter day, or sipped as chilled juice in the summer peaches, Connect us to the land and the people who work it. The next time you enjoy this golden fruit, remember the journey it took to reach your hands. What surprised you most about the peach farming process? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to explore more amazing agricultural stories from around the world only here on Green AgroWorks. See you in the next harvest.